What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And while I was at the Jam Fest yesterday, jamming out, playing on some bass guitar, I didn't even—I forgot to bring my guitar. Who forgets to bring their guitar to the Jam Fest? Luckily, my buddy had the bass there, and uh, I got an urgent message from Jim White, a buddy of mine who sends me pictures all the time. And uh, this is from Saul 710, and he said, "I see what looks like some sort of flower or some weird sun-shaped life." And I tell you what, this looks like something. Like a sunflower or something that's it's sitting there. It's a totally different color. It's tucked away in here, which would make you think, oh, it's got a lot of shade some hours of the day or something. Maybe some moss growing or is it a being? Something like that. But it's totally different shape and totally different color from like the surrounding areas. Let me show you where we got this from. This is Saul uh, 710. And I tell you what. From 7.03 on, it's just a literal pile of amazing stuff. This looks like walls from an uh, ancient house or something along these lines. And this looks like it was on this hill, and everything just came falling down. There's pieces of it all over here. And uh, let me show you. Let me pull this back and show you what we've done with this. Um, that's how it came right there. And here's a picture. Let me show you the whole picture. And it just looks like a slew of stuff that's come come down. It's got amazing, uh, just well, you'll see. Wait till you see up at the top here. Just amazing, uh, you know, symmetry. Ge the, the geometry itself, just in this picture alone, is amazing. But this little thing, you can see, it's totally different. Even when that without the changed color, it's totally different color. Let me do the auto color like I usually do. Um, it like whitens it out a little bit, kind of brings it up. And you can see in these in these pictures, you, this looks like it was a bottom piece. This doesn't look like it was all that or, ornate. But up here at the top, you start running into these uh, what seem to be blocks, like a wall that was built. Looking right here, the face that's in this block. That's one of the most human-like faces I've ever seen on Mars in these pictures. And it, I mean, it is human, human-like. And look next to here, there's that tip, that S we see a lot. See the S form right here. Now, the last two videos I've done have, has had stuff that looks like English writing in it, which is kind of a, probably because I, I speak English and I write English, but that's most likely why we're getting English, why I see the English, but the curves, the S-curves, we see this a lot. Um, too cool, too cool, but look at these blocks here. Tell me that that definitely looks like a face right there that's just sitting on there. It looks like it was part of the blocks so, at some time. And you can look at the strata here. They, I know somebody's gonna say, "Oh, that's just that's just a strata." You know, there's nothing to that. But when I look at it, I mean, it looks like there were two long blocks. This looks like the walls that they made here on Earth. All around Earth, they, you know, the ancient civilizations made walls out of brick and, you know, basically rocks. And most of us still do it to the day. You know, there's still civilizations that are still building these things just out, of, just like this hand, finding, hey, this one fits here. Hey, this one fits here. Let's build a house. You know. And this looks like a wall or something. You can see the long under here, and then it goes up one, two, three little ones. And even here, look how this one in the middle cuts right in between the, the center of these two right here. So it's almost like they laid down the rocks. They laid down the foundation. Here it looks like the foundation's right here. Or maybe this under. This this is what I'm looking. Here's what I'm seeing. Like This was the foundation for part of it. Over here, you've got blocks that look like they've fallen off of it. Um, but you can eat here, you can see the cuts and stuff like that. Pretty interesting. Like this looks like it could have been a pretty interesting building at one time, and it's just been destroyed. Like most of Mars, everything else we found on Mars has been destroyed. Um, look at that piece there, just sitting up on here, tucked away. Now let me put out the gamma like I usually do. Let me do some gamma popping, just to get it to just a tad. All right, eh, a little bit too much there. Sometimes it brings it out just just too tad too much. Look at the square blocks and stuff right here. Look at that perfect little square block that looks like it's falling down. Um, and that, that piece right there. To tell me what you think this stuff is, guys. Comment below. I'm not going to go too long on it. But this piece right here, I tell you, this is one of the coolest ones I've seen in a long time. Because that definitely looks like it's tucked in there. It looks like it was tucked in there, kind of hidden away in there. And whatever it is, let me do... See the different colors in it? I mean, look at the color of it. It's just totally different. Um, adjust brightness. Let me just pull out the brightness, give it a little brightness. It almost looks like a, like I said, a sunflower head or something. It looks like some of the things the kids have. See, they got one, two, three things hanging down from it. It's come out. Look, the pieces come out from around it. Almost like it was a, a picture of a sun god or something like that. I just can't put my finger on it. It looks like 
life to me. It looks like moss is around it. Look, they got the even got the color of it around here. They got it green. Um, God, I don't know what to think, guys. I love to hear what the subscribers think. This is one of the ones where I, I want to turn this over to the subscribers and let you guys take a look at it and see what you think. But here's even when you come here, look at this piece right here. All right, well, let's, let's just pull this one out right here. This looks like it's fallen down as well as this. Like just, it was part of the upper structure at one time. And see what looks like rebar or something going through this thing all over. And it could just be, like I said, it could be rocks. I see what I see. You see what you see. Um, if you watch my videos in the past, it was funny. I was at the Jam Fest yesterday talking to people about some of these pictures. They're like, oh, well, you know, wind, water, and stuff can do all this. And I was like, absolutely it can. It can, wind, water can can carve things amazing, amazing things. Just look at Arizona. Look out west here in America, just in America alone. And uh, we get the Grand Canyon. Look at some of the stuff in the Grand Canyon. But a lot of this stuff, when you see it, it's like, I see these anomalies, and then you'll say, all right, well, if there was nobody there, and let's say, let's say wind and earth just did a lot of these, it's awfully strange that there's so many in each picture. And that's where I start saying, okay, well, I can see if there's maybe one or two anomalies somewhere where it looks like, because you take pictures, I got pictures from when I went to Arizona, when I went to California, you know, I've got pictures from a lot of the mountains, I go over all the times of the mountains here, and we see a lot of these structures, and you see perfectly square rocks, there's nothing, I can't say that a 90 degree angle is, is a uh, smoking gun on, on what, you know, Mother Nature can't make, but... But when you see a piece of something that's got like a bevel on it or, or has something along this, something like this down here, and it sits next to, you know, strange looking things like this, and then I'm sure there's even more in here. Look, right here, this little thing's got two little pieces that come up. They look like they're, uh, you know, just whatever this is, it looks like two little pillars coming out of it. Um, where's that little cup thing? There's a little cup up here. It looks like a little perfect cup. See that right there? And when you get all that together, you start saying, okay, well, what's the coincidence? Where's the coincidence go out the window and say, all right, well, this is this is it. You know, this is this has got to be something. And this, when I saw this, I said, that thing down there was amazing. But then when I saw this face there and next to it, it looked like, and that might not be a face. That might just be my, you know, matrixing of our eyes. But just these blocks alone, one, two, this little piece of the wall looked like it made it, you know, made it intact. And here, see how it kind of bulges up here? There's a little circle in this end. I mean, look at this. Look at the perfect circle here. Perfect circle. In that. Now let me see something here. I didn't sharpen this up. Let's just sharpen it just a tad. See what we get. Filter. Sharpen. Sharpen. Smart sharpen. And give it a go. Ooh, it pulls it out pretty good. Over here, too. You got some of it pulled out. And I suggest they go take a look at the last video I did. Look at this also. See what I was, I was talking about this, the blinds effects that seem to go into these pictures? Whenever there's parallel lines that run with each other, and I, this is where I start thinking it's done automatically. It's either a, a glitch in the camera that can't the camera can't take parallel lines, which I can't believe that that's an issue. But when it sees parallel lines together, it adds these little little blinds. That's all I can call them, little blinds effects to it that cut it up. And when it cuts it up, it throws our eyes off. And you don't see, all you see is junk. You know, see, it's, it's just like, oh, this is just junk. You know, it's nothing there. Oh, that's nothing. But it's not broken up like that. That's If we get closer and get a picture of it looking down at it, you don't see that in there. And it's never, it's never, it's always just straight lines, you know. And it's never, like, curved. It's always up and down, straight up and down, or, or straight, you know, straight left and right, right left. Um very interesting. Like I said, this looked like if I just showed somebody this piece right here, and look at that S right there, how, how it comes out. Let me see if I can't sharpen it up just a tad, too. This is the sharpen tool. I've been using this a lot more on my videos just because it seems to pull out sometimes a little bit through what we're getting. See, that stuff just starts pouring out of it. You can sharpen it up and kind of get through the blur that the camera has or, or somebody adds. Who knows how that blur gets in there. I'm sure it's a combination of both, but look at the S pattern there. Up here, some interesting stuff. It's it, with the blur really takes out what we can see. It doesn't take much blur to to throw your eyes off. And that's why I think these pictures. That's why they don't go too. You know, it's not a, a race to get these things so manipulated. They they there are people who keep coming to me and saying, well, why would they let them out anyway? It's like, well, we know what comes down from the rover. There are lists. There are sites that follow that. 
Now, what's raw images and what's not raw images, we have no idea. We don't get that. Like I said, we get JPEG files they call raw images. And if anybody's a photographer or is taking stuff, they don't come in JPEG. That's not raw. Now, they start putting out the PDS, the planetary data systems. Uh, they've got those going, which even them, they're still 10, you know, 1028 by 1028, which I just think that if we sent this mission for $2.5 billion and we just put, you know, those low resolution cameras, especially on the top mass scans, People need to be people need to be fired, just like the wheel guy. Whoever made the wheels, and I swear that's going to be my mission: is to get whoever made the wheels, put them out of business, because this is ridiculous. You know, who, look, opportunity and spirit are well, spirits not anymore, as far as we know in the public. But that thing's still roaming around, has no issues with any of it. Why don't we stick to a similar design? You know, why do we have to reinvent the wheels so many times? But. Anyways, guys, let me come down here and take another look at this one right here. That, that just does look like some sort of strange life here. Let me just sharpen it up a little bit. What do you guys think? I mean, comment below. Let me know. I know you guys see more anomalies that I've missed in here. There's some good gigapans that are out right now. That doesn't look like a snake just sitting in the, in the grass there. It looks like moss. You can see the stuff actively falling down. Um. So even to this day, you know, the stuff is active. Mars is an active planet. There's all sorts of changes in the atmosphere, changes in the weather. They can now that those orbiters have been up there so long, they've got a lot of that stuff mapped out. Um, and once again, whenever we get a look at that the blurness, it just looks like see how up here at the top there's no blur, but all in front here this has been blurred out. So what's ever on this piece, which looks cut perfectly, we don't get to see what it is. I don't, and I just don't think it's the camera doing that. There's no reason why that should be done. If right here can be seen perfectly, why would that down here not be seen perfectly? I like that answer. So people say, why would blur? NASA doesn't blur anything? That's bullshit. No way. Then why are there square blur marks in the pictures? Why is this right here? You can just follow and see it's blurred from there, over here, down to here is blurred. They keep doing it. It's squared off. And it's only in front of this rock right here where all around the edges you see very intricate designs and shapes to them, but you don't get it here. So, what is it? You know, why do we have that? What's that? If it's just a camera doing that, why would it pick out just those type of blocks? You know, how come we don't see that on the whole picture? Only where there's something interesting that we want to take a look at. Um, so, more stuff down here. Just random stuff everywhere. But once again, I'm with Jim on this one, thinking, what in the heck is this thing up there at the top that's in here? Tell me that doesn't just look like a little, a little something where somebody goes and prays or something. You know, it looks like a little religious medallion or a plant or an animal, something that's up there on there. And uh, that's a good one. I haven't seen a good catch like this in a while. Like I said, this whole new saw from 703 on is just amazing. Check out, there's some gigapans out there that get really good resolution. That Neville, Neville, Neville makes them. Uh, he's really good. You can check him out on Facebook, MT. <laughs> so, and look at this stuff up here. This kind of looks, once again, you get the blur on the front page. You get the blur wherever, like this, it's not here. You look at this one, it's got some, you know, some intricate looking designs there, but right here next to it, you get blur, so. And I don't think it has something to do with shadowing, because it can be on either side, it doesn't, it doesn't discriminate, <laughs> the sun's not part of what, uh, what's causing that, you know, something's being, it's being caused by either the rover adding it on purpose, or somebody back at NASA putting it on purpose, um, so. All right, guys, much love to you, what's up in the sky, 37, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, it is Sunday, you take care and have a wonderful day. Peace.